So is everybody excited to be back in school? As the new school year started this week, students of the Cicero RC combined got a welcome surprise on Thursday as Prime Minister Honorable Alan Shastney made an impromptu stop at the school. The Prime Minister took time to speak with the principal of the school and opened up to students about government's plans to advance and improve all schools on the island in order to create a better learning environment. I wanted to be able to come and see how you guys were settling in. And I'm going to be doing a tour of a lot of the different schools. So for instance, what your principal was pointing out to me. Um, so we want to go on a major program to upgrade all the schools. The Prime Minister spoke to students about empowering them for the future by making sure they have the tools and skills to remain competitive. He spoke about technological advancements that would be introduced to schools and he also spoke about plans for developing the area of sports and having dedicated coaches for girls and boys in order to further develop our athletes. If you want to be competitive in the world, you have to be prepared. So just knowing English and knowing Creole is not enough. Students also had the opportunity to put their own questions to the Prime Minister and they were by no means easy on him. Yes, ma'am. The Prime Minister took lots of questions from students before letting them get back to work. He thanked the principals, teachers and students of the school for their continued hard work. Principal of the school, Mr. Martin Hippolyte, says that he and the teachers felt very privileged to have the Prime Minister single them out for a visit. Mr. Hippolyte took the opportunity to speak with the Prime Minister about the challenges that the school faces and was also pleased to learn from the Prime Minister firsthand about plans to enhance technology and sports development. Prime Minister Alan Shastney has promised to return to the Cicero Combined School and to address some of the challenges that the schools and all schools on the island are facing. The Prime Minister has plans to do an island-wide tour later this year. This is Nicole MacDonald reporting from the Office of the Prime Minister.